promise. Uh oh. Scale of one to ten, how scared are you if I ask this question? I'm like ten. I really don't think it's that bad. It just might be. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I'm a ten right now. Ten. So do you not want me to ask the question? You can ask it, but give me like twenty seconds to answer it. <laughs> okay. All right. It's really not that bad of a question. Do so remember when we were hanging out, you were like you don't like talk you don't ask women on dates because they always are pretty much like so bold with you that they ask you first why wait. don't you ask women on dates mm -hmm. wait i'm shoot my shot yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh so why don't i shoot and you were like you were like well i don't know like i just i know you said it was because you were in rhode island and you don't really like find a lot of people out there like super cute but but why, so you said, why don't I shoot my shot with people? With women. Oh, with women? Um, yeah. Why don't I shoot my shot with women? Well, this is going to sound so bad. No, it's not, because I literally remember you saying, like, oh, yeah, I'm ready for a relationship. But, you know, I hope one day it's cool. And then you were like, eh, I don't really shoot my shot at girls, though. And I was like. You know you're kind of like the whole package. Like, why don't you? That's the thing. That's that. That's the thing right there. Um, I do. I do know I'm the whole package. Okay, that sounds a little cocky, but like, Jesus Christ, man. Hold on. I can't, I don't think I can answer this. You don't have to. I, that's why I said I don't know. I know it's not that bad of a question, but it's still kind of deeper question. I plead. I, I'm pleading the fifth on this question. I'm pleading. I'm pleading the fifth on this question. All right. Well, um, any other questions? I feel like you're tired. You should probably go to sleep. I'm not tired. I thought, but, huh? What? I'm not tired. But y'all saying boo, boo, tweet. Uh, Nate, Nate, ignore the comment. Unless you are looking for questions, they're not actually saying boo. They just wish that you said something else. I'm gonna answer it. You're going to. Um. You do not have to. Here, here's a better question. What's your love language? I, I love I love quality time. Quality time. Okay. I mean, I'm not really a homebody, but I mean, I do love laying in bed, you know, cuddling and stuff like that. I do love that. I also, I don't think it should just be the guy complimenting the girl. Okay, I think the girl should compliment the guy just as much. Uh, -huh. that makes and sense. Like, yeah, like my 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 ex didn't really compliment me at all. I was like, what the fuck. But yeah, I like that. Like, That's something that happens for men a lot too. I don't. I feel like I don't. So your act. So it's. Quality time, physical affection, and words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Got you. Is there are, are a lot of dudes in this live? Is that something that happens with men a lot, too? Like, you feel like women don't compliment men? Because I feel like I compliment people all the time, and people just do not I, back. I just, like, I, I get, like, I get so many compliments a day, okay, but a compliment is different when it's a person you love, when it's a person you like really appreciate. That's the compliment feels a lot different. I completely agree with that. A thousand percent. I actually would give you I would give you a high five right now if I was right next to you. That is that is factual. And yeah. I'm talking about the part where he was like, compliments is one thing, but compliments from the person you love. Bruh, I talked to this dude once, literally. He got mad at me because I asked him if he could compliment me more. And he was like, why the, why do you need me to do that? Like, you know, I like you. I'm obviously here. That That's weird. And I was talking about something like this earlier. I was like, people tend to get content and complacent in a relationship. I feel like that's just, just this is not ideal. Like if you should continue to do little acts of kindness, throughout your whole relationship. You should yeah. still do the that, that that got the girl. You should still do those little things, you know, in a few years. Don't just get...
replacement and just, you know, stop doing that shit. What's that? What's that thing that people was like, <laughs> bro, people were reposting the F out of this quote when it first happened. The quote that was like, with, I don't know. It was something about you should never stop flirting with your significant other. Like, you should yeah. always flirty. Exactly. That's why I said my compliments. Like, I, I you know, I'm, that's the type of person I am. I'm a really, I'm a really affectionate. About time my moderator's in here. Sorry, they got, sorry, I got, I got bipolar. I got ADHD, all that stuff. But, like, you know, the, the compliments and, um, I forgot what I was saying. But all that shit. I know what you mean. <laughs> definitely different when it comes from someone you're actually trying to talk to because i'll be honest like i love the compliments that i get every day on my social media i literally kisses roses love them every day but your significant other saying like holy shit babe you look freaking fantastic right now just hits different it does is that bro like they think just because they think just because oh i'm some thirst trapper or I'm some, uh, you know, guy who gets a lot of compliments that I don't need compliments. Like, what, bro? Like, if I'm in a relationship, I, would, I definitely want my girl to compliment me, you know? Mm-hmm. I feel like yeah. I agree with that statement, sir. Yeah. I agree with that statement. Um, I think that was... Oh, my love. And I don't mean, like, type touchy. I mean, like, lit- just if we're sitting next to each other and for some reason you want to hold my pinky, like, that says way more to me than just not touching me at all, if that makes sense. Yeah. And, and uh, words of affirmation, for sure. I'm really big on communication. Super big on communication. A lot of people think they're good at communicating until they meet me and I'm like, you suck at words. Sentences, you did not pass English. You do not know how to put the thoughts in your head on paper, and you cannot communicate them to me either. So, I didn't read a hmm? I said, I ain't read a chapter book. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, that's, it's fine. You didn't read a chapter book, but you watch Vampire Diaries. So, <coughs> Damn, like, it's COVID. why do you say COVID or whatever you call <laughs> Somebody gonna say I got COVID, but I actually do have COVID right now. You got oh yeah, you did test positive. I thought you were in quarantine because the rest of the team was in quarantine. I forgot you actually did test positive. That shit. Hmm. Um that's yeah, those are those are mine for sure. Okay, new questions. What? You guys should do more lives. So inspiring. We're inspiring right now. <laughs> this, that's an interesting choice of words. I feel like we're just definitely entertaining. But have you ever pranked him? Have I ever pranked you? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Have I ever even jokingly? Oh, so- that's a good question. Somebody said, what's Nate's opinion of Tavion? Who's Tavion? Oh. <laughs> fake fan! Fake follower! No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, Tavion is the name that my uh, followers <laughs> gave me for my other personality where I just basically act more dominant than, like, submissive. It's, it's a those where I kind of look a little bit more tomboyish. Oh, I definitely seen those videos. And I like, de- you have your hair, your hair up. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> seen those videos. Yeah, um, you know, what's crazy y'all. Like, I've asked a lot of people about Tavion, and they've just been like, "It's like it's just funny." People say it's the masculine stud Tati, the alter ego of me. I don't think it's that. It's just whenever I get more dominant with the camera instead of being like You you really a TikToker, bro. What do you mean? Just like you were just a TikToker. Like you we're so different. I'm a guy who does TikTok, okay? You are a TikToker. <laughs> wait, wait, the comments are killing me. Okay, Tavion is cute. You bring out... I'm not bringing out Tavion right now. That's not what's happening. We're not turning Tavion on right now. 
she's built for this, not a TikToker. I'm not a TikToker. I just like entertaining people and I'm a huge people person. So I just, I really rock with my followers. Oh, that's... <laughs> yeah, she is a pro. Um, uh, yeah, so you, how do you feel about that? I feel like, I you know, if there was a way to share screen so I could like show no. you some sample no. videos. I do know. I, when when you first said Tavion, I thought you were talking about the light skinned kid that made a TikTok about you today. I thought you were talking about that. I forgot his name. Um Dion? You know? Yeah, that's what I thought you were talking about. Yeah. 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 Um no, I I like uh it's 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 funny to me because you just have a lot of stuff going on. You like you just talented with the shit. You act, you act, you thirst trap, you freaking lip sync, like you do all that stuff. It's kinda yeah, you be thirst trapping. Oh, I thirst trap. I don't thirst trap. You, do. you just have a lot. It's good. Best but pickup. You have a best pickup line. Do I have a best pickup line? <laughs> like, give me all those compliments. Thank you. Sorry, I I forgot to say thank you for that. But do you have a best pickup line? Um, honestly, I have no game. <laughs> Is that like, why you shot? <laughs> Yo, is, you can be honest. Is that why? No. Oh, you got me. You got me. You got me. You got me. I don't have game. <laughs> I don't got to rely on my game, okay? I don't have to rely on my game. All right? I'm just myself, okay? I feel like I have a very... I don't know. You don't need a game. There's no game. You're good. We're laughing because I just made a joke. It's okay. I got a very electric electric contagious personality and that's all you need you know i feel like if you have game it's not showing your real self hey. you're showing it's not your real self okay so i i show my true self my personality and that works i i i agree this is a good thing you're you don't have to defend it i promise yeah funniest y'all got it y'all what the anyways um Someone asked an even better question. Uh, <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's almost time to wrap this up. We're going to make this the last two questions. So someone said three. Okay, no, we, you can pick which one of these questions to answer. Someone said re three requirements of the next person you date. And I'm thinking this question means, like, just from the past relationships, what have you learned that is, like, necessary for your future partner type shit? And then the other question, fuck, what was it? It was, like, does body count in a relationship really matter? Those are the two questions. So you can pick two. Hmm. Okay. Question, and then someone said, have y'all been betrayed? Interesting. I, I mean, you can pick some, whichever one of those questions you want. Well, I've definitely been betrayed before. I talked about that on the YouTube. Um, you did. Does does body count matter? No, not at all. Uh, so you I'm, you can date a girl with like fifty bodies. I don't. I mean, if 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 I'm the last one, that was a good answer. Yeah, that was a good answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. Or did you want to leave that question? No, what's the, what's the next question? What's the next question? What was the next question? Damn, what was the question? <laughs> Fuck, I don't even know. Oh, dream vacation? Sorry, I just want to answer this one because people ask me this all the time. My dream vacation next year. My dream vacation is happening next year no excuses i am paying for me and all of my friends to go on a cruise oh damn week-long cruise i and when i say all of my friends i mean like 20 and i know that's gonna be like a rack but cruises when planned ahead and planned properly with the right people only like 300 dollars per person per person Four hundred max i plan to be a millionaire by the end of this year to be honest so that should be nothing but I want to pay for all of my friends to fly to Vegas or road trip to, I'm not Vegas, to fly to Texas or road trip to Texas. And we all do a seven day cruise to Jamaica. That Ooh. is my 
dream vacation because my my thing I'm a huge people person bro I love my friends like bro I just I love my friends I love being around them and if I could bring them on a vacation where they literally don't have to worry about nothing else but having fun bro I would I would cry I would cry I would cry so yeah that's my dream vacation I, it's in the works though I'm gonna make it happen I'm gonna make it happen definitely gonna, I feel like you are gonna be that millionaire I 100% because I was watching the fucking hype house I was like yeah you definitely can do that <laughs> the new show on yeah. <laughs> what was your opinion on that show my friend said it was really bad what they said it was really bad whoa 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 they don't like the they didn't like the show nah did you like it I loved it really yeah Somebody said it was just too much forced drama. I don't think it was forced drama. You gotta, you gotta. That production took a long time. Like it was, it was over like a year, right? Like I think oh. it was over. It was definitely over a year. So they had to make it, you know, kind of, you know, messy a little bit. So they, you know, pointed out the the most uh, dramatic parts. But I like the show because, you know, a lot of people think those little. The little white people all had, you know, the silver spoon growing up, but a lot of them didn't. A lot of them came from humbling beginnings, and that's why I like the show because it showed you, it showed you that, and it showed, it gave you a background story of each person. So that's why I like the show because a lot of people just think, oh, this person made it, that person made it, but no, they had to, they had to, you know, come start from the bottom to make it to the top. So that's why I really like the show. Interesting. Okay. I actually like how you put that. No one else said that. From the people that I've heard, they were like, ew, no, weird drama, weird mess. They should have had more people of color. Da, da, da. You said that too. Yeah, they def they definitely should have. They definitely should have. But, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I like the show. I, I, I felt bad. I forgot his name. His name Thomas. I forgot his name. The leader of the Hype House, I felt bad for him because he did. He did put a lot of people on. Okay. He put a lot of people on for, and for them to not text him or or, or 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 say thank you and to just up and leave and give him attitude that's just fucked up let me tell you something about people in this industry that i have personally experienced you i'm all about bringing people up with you but People just don't even realize they're users sometimes. Like it's just, it's just how it is. It's just, yeah, it's just how it is. Yeah. Even with like, even with like, my last house I was in, like I loved it. But sometimes you put business and friendships kills them. It literally mm -hmm. immediately obliterates them. So it's just like business and friendships. When pe that saying that you you cannot mix that. Yeah. I'm friends with the people that I'm friends with now because our friendship was strong enough to fight the business aspects of it. A yeah. lot of friendships do not have the strength to make it past the social media. That's why I get worried sometimes when I check in on you whenever like our fans are like doing a lot on our pages because it's like I really I, I like I try to I literally try to let everyone know whoever I interact with like you're not just here because we made a collab like we're cool we're homies we're friends we're besties like just yeah you know. but I've ran into a lot like a lot of people like that and I know they all in the comments saying like that da but I've ran into a lot of different people like that so yeah it's just the way it is. I want to watch the show now. Now that you describe it like that, I might watch a couple couple episodes. But I just re I just read what the other question was. I'm we're wrapping up. We're wrapping up. My bad, loves. My bad. But um, the other question. It was the three three requirements for your next relationship. That's what I forgot to say. Oh, yo, uh, real quick, let me just nip this in the bud. Yo, I'm not friend zoning anything. I'm I'm saying things for what it is, <laughs> like, like yo. I'm not. I'm promise you. I'm not friend zoning, and I promise you, the people that know I'm not friend zoning, no, I'm not friend zoning. So continue. Yeah, we know what you do when you friend zone. First of all, it seem like I friend zoned you because you have not been friend zoned. No, no, I'm saying like my when when you um when you when when you when when. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, when I um, when 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 yeah, my your followers definitely tell me a lot of stuff. Continue. Um. Okay. Requirements. Uh. Guys, I have a speech impediment. I'm sorry. Um. Requirements. Um. Confidence. Uh-huh. That's the big one. Big one right there. Confidence. I need that. Good. Um a person who's goal oriented. Got it. And <laughs> one... what? Pretty much everything else is like, you know, doable. But the confidence part. And the goal oriented part is not really doable for a lot of people. I feel it. Yeah. You take it, somebody said. I just, yeah. it's the cup. <laughs> the... <sighs> I hear you. I agree with those things. Um, all right. Well, I think that's basically like everything. Oh, wait, did I answer the questions? Nope. Okay, what was the first question? Um, Damn. Yeah, I forgot the first question. So it was the three requirements. Three requirements. What was the other one? Oh, the betrayed. Oh, does body count matter? Okay. So um first with the does body count matter? No. And I'm not saying that just because I'm a woman and I know how men roll, but it's like when I tell you I've heard the worst of the worst body counts. I just I don't know, when you do the math in your head. It just, like, the older you get, the more people are going to be going crazy in their lives. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't matter to me. It it really doesn't. It's just, it doesn't reflect your character. Actually, I'm alive. If it's in past the 200s, you're doing a lot. Especially if you have a younger age, you're doing a lot. And when I say I met a lot of guys who've been very like my uncles for instance they have when I tell you my the they have given me the tea and I have a lot of guy friends and they have given me their tea yeah I'm telling y'all right now 80 is not a low number for men mm. 80 is not a low number you find a dude in his 20s under 80 gold 80 is not a low number uh anyway Ways. that's just that i don't care about that then what else oh betrayed duh <laughs> next question um three requirements hmm uh, it is a lot 80 is too much, yo. Listen, I agree with you. <laughs> I agree it's a lot, but I have also come to realize that sometimes people, men, a lot of times just do not view sex the same way that women do. It's just, they don't. Like, they just, they're just like, you know, we live in life, we having fun. And women is like, we're not allowed to live life, have fun like that at all. You hear a girl's number above 10, dudes go berserk. They're like, you little horse lady slut, what? Bruh. Like, it's just, there's different rules for different people, sadly, in society, and that's just how it is. Um, what, what were we talking about? Oh my god, three requirements. Okay, yeah, so definitely confidence. I definitely agree with that. Extremely just confidence, and I mean mature confidence, not like, like, oh yeah, I know I'm handsome. Like, I mean, you step in a room, you know you are you, you're comfortable in yourself, you're happy with who you are as a person, you don't walk in a room and feel the need that you have to prove to everyone in the room that you're the fucking coolest guy in there. Like, hate that. So, uh, genuine confidence, yeah. They have to be very... I'm not going to lie. They need to... What's that thing? Oh, my gosh. My girls are going to know what I'm talking about. My girls are going to know what I'm talking about. Um, That thing that we say... A man that's so dominant that he brings out the submissive. Because that is huge to me. I didn't... Once people started saying that shit on TikTok, I was like, oh, my gosh. I find, You guys finally put words to what I've been trying to say. Because I've, I've pretty much spent my whole life taking care of everyone. 
everyone around me, my friendships, my girls, the dudes I've talked to, like, I didn't realize it, you know, self growth, we realize now, but I've taken care of pretty much everyone in my life since birth, especially when it comes to emotional everything. So the minute a dude makes me feel like he can actually take care of me and I can like step down from the role of taking care of freaking everything, that'll be a different moment for me. That'll be a completely different moment for me. So that. And then just fun. Like, and when I say fun, I mean like a date night to him isn't just going out to eat. Like, this nigga want to go play laser tag or something. Because we're young. What is what is us going to the club every night going to do? They play the same music every night. You see the same girls wearing the same outfits, the same dudes holding up the drinks. Fun, mm -hmm. like actually doing something. Do things, yeah. I new shit do some explorative shit like let's go i don't know so yeah that's me i think it's time to let you go though honey you let me go i think it is i think it's time for you to go sleep oh well, yeah it is 140 you look a little sleepy swan yo yeah my sleepy voice just got activated you're huh yeah, my sleepy voice just got activated mm. yeah so mm. Oh, I guess it is about that time. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll Snapchat you later, dude. All right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we're, I think we're done. Uh, say bye, my loves.